Hello everyone, welcome to techtube.com. In this lecture, we will understand views in SQL. Okay, so let's start with a simple story. Uh, there is a person A who used to write complex SQL queries. So what he does on a project is something like this. He has many tables. Okay. So he joins these tables and write a query and he realized that actually he is writing always most of the time he is writing query in some particular style like this. So what he does he basically creates a virtual table first by selecting some selecting some attributes and performing uh, other complex functions like aggregate functions and various conditions he basically creates a virtual table so he selects some attributes okay perform some functions and he uses multiple tables okay from t1 t2 etc okay like this now finally this virtual table is ready then what he does is he he makes some queries from it okay so for him it is easy because uh, first all complexity is solved here now every time to generate some report he just select some fields from this virtual table now he realizes that if he can store this SQL inside SQL this inner SQL okay this SQL then it will solve or basically ease his problem okay so what he does he copies the entire SQL inside this this box and save it to a txt file okay now he is a smart guy whenever uh, similar query is required he just copy paste from txt right and then he selects attributes accordingly fine but he wonders that that why not there is a feature in SQL to store these things so then this txt will be not required right so later on he realizes that this kind of function is already available in sql and that is view okay so view is very similar to what we have variable in programming languages so till the scope of variable you can reuse the value of variable right and you can store something in variable fine so what you can do with view is this query for example this query you can store this query in a view okay now let's say I'm calling it a custom table now whenever we need to write query like this okay we can just simply refer to a view which we have already created basically this SQL will be stored in the database with the name of custom table so whenever next time you refer this custom table it will first create the table okay and then your query will execute over this table so now at front end the system is easy right so this is basically use of views now you know it you just store the definition or a query into a view mostly the mostly or always the select query because you are creating a view and whenever required we just refer to the view okay so our view is a virtual table okay this is basically a virtual table which does not physically exist in database but whenever you refer to this table okay it runs this query and creates a virtual table for you okay fine now let's understand how view is created so creating views is very simple it's something like this like first to create virtual table what you used to do you used to write a query something like this like select and then some queries there select query okay now you can do another select from it right so select attribute 1 attribute 2 from okay this table created so very similar to this what you can do is you can create view okay 
so what you will write create create view and then view name so let's uh, write custom table custom score table as as and then this select statement okay so this select whatever you do like select query okay so this will create a view from this query and will store or will refer it as custom table okay so this query will be stored as custom table now next time whenever you refer this custom table a virtual table is created using this view uh, this query okay so now let's see how uh, this table will be used well so there is nothing special about it this views table or with this views will be treated in query as normal table for example if you want to select some attribute from this custom table you will write select attribute from custom underscore table so the database system will treat it as normal table but whenever you refer it database will automatically first execute the query stored for this view and will create a virtual table inside okay so for a user it's very similar or it's exactly same as querying from normal table so now you can understand that this view simplifies our work okay it also provides security okay and it also provides abstraction well let's understand these two terms okay so let's say we have multiple tables okay and we have a user u okay who is not admin but we have to give some access to this database okay so for example we have some attributes in all the table or few table which is secret or which is important whose access should not be given to this user okay but this user is a report generator who used to generate reports okay so what we can do is we can create a views or view out of these three tables okay where these attributes will not be there these attributes which are secret now this view will have access for this user okay so this user is doing query from this view where he don't have access to these important or secret attributes okay so now here you can see that we have security and using this we are providing uh, abstraction okay so this user doesn't know about the existence of individual tables okay what he know is a view or basically he know there is a table custom table okay custom table and he even this user even doesn't know that whether this is a view or table okay he is this acts like a table for this user now there is some important point we need to understand that in this view let's say we have a view i'm calling it custom table so in this view the querying is allowed okay so the user can do query fine so one is we can update view definition okay so we can update update view definition okay for which basically we use create or replace create or replace okay so using this we update the definition of the view but generally 
the updation to the data or the base table is restricted. What I mean by saying base table, this view has been created by multiple tables, right? So after joining these tables, I have created a view. So these tables from which we have created this view is called base table. Okay, so now let's say I have here some key value k and some name and 300. Okay, now what if I want to modify this 300 to 400? Okay, so if we modify this, the base table will be modified, right? The data in the base table will be modified. Now think about it. What if this 300 is a derived value is a derived attribute you remember derived attribute right so derived attribute is a attribute which is basically derived from the basic attribute so let's say I'm storing DOB date of birth here but I am deriving age okay of course 300 may not be age for human being well so I'm deriving age now what if I'm modifying this 300 here Okay, so these all things will create a lot of confusion and in fact it may also create data inconsistency. So generally update is update to the data is restricted and specially when updates on views defined on defined on joining of more than one table. Okay, so let's say I'm I have joined more than one table and I have defined a view then in that case the update will be not allowed okay so if I'm creating a view out of one table so that is allowed but when it is created out of two three tables okay it's not allowed but these this statement is not universal okay this varies from database to database so you may find a database system which is also allowing this kind of update okay so as far as I know, uh, the update is restricted and when it is, uh, when, the up, when the view is created out of more than one table, after joining more than one table, then the update is not allowed. Okay, and due to the various reasons we have just studied. Now a simple question can be, what if I delete the base table? Okay, so this view custom table has been created from this t1 t2 and t3 tables now what if i delete this t2 table okay what if i delete this t2 table then what will happen okay so will this view will exist in that case so the simple answer is i don't know well i don't know because it can vary in oracle once you delete this table still the views will be there the definition of view will be there okay and you can perform query on it right but when you execute the query okay it will show you a error okay because see what happens is when you create this custom table it's not a table actually right it's just stores the definition part only okay whatever definition you write SQL query you write to create this table okay create this view will be stored okay so now definition is stored once you delete a table this definition is still there okay and no validation is done fine now when you use this view okay in your query what will happen first this table will be virtually created this virtual table will be created okay so to create this table once the database system makes query using the definition stored here okay which has this t2 value okay which is not there right so as t2 is deleted now this definition which has been stored is not valid and that's why it will prompt you an error okay so this is the basic concept of view i hope you understand it and if you have any doubt go to the doubt section on tech2.com and ask your doubt so see you in the next lecture which is probably the last lecture on SQL afterward we will go on creating illustrations on SQL but this the next lecture would be the last theoretical lecture on SQL so see you in the next lecture thanks for watching